today we're going to replace a camshaft in a Polaris 500. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do, what to look for. Um, I've got all the plastics off already. Uh, all you're going to need for this job after you've got everything removed is a 8mm socket and a 10mm socket. Um, first things first, you want to make sure you're at top dead center. You look down there, there's a mark, line up the flywheel to the top mark, and that'll put you at top dead center. What I like to do is take the recoil cover off, so that way I can line everything up and make sure I am at top dead center. Okay, so I took my recoil cover off, um, put a mark on the flywheel, lined everything back up, got everything at top dead center. Um, I took my co access cover off. I took the bolts off of the rocker cover. So, look down that hole, there's a little mark here, and there's a mark on the flywheel. Pull that out. I marked it. I am at top dead center. Took that cover off. This is the rocker cover off. Let's see what kind of damage we got here. Um, I have a plan with this. I learned that if you take a HO cam and a HO carburetor, you can make this a Polaris 500 HO. So that's my plan. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, uh, how I how I plan to do it. So here we go. There are also two marks up here on the gear. Um, those have to be straight up, and you know you're top dead center. Next step, take the cam off. We're going to go to the other side of the machine here. We're going for a ride. Hang on. All right, so you got your elbow for your uh, top uh, coolant hose, and then there's an access cover for the cam down here. So I'm going to pull that out. Thermostat came with it. And the access center. Show you what I got going on here. So there's one, two, three, four. We'll take those bolts off. This will come right out. And I'll be able to slide the cam off. Last bolt. Yeah, that doesn't, uh, oops, there you go. That doesn't look bad at all. There's not a whole lot of wear there. There's one little groove right here. So I'm guessing that cam's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those three bolts off, make sure my mark is up there, and then I'm going to take a piece of wire and hang that up out of the way, and then I can pull the cam out. But one last thing I forgot before I do that. Right there. That is the chain tensioner comes out with two 8 millimeter bolts and you need to get that off first otherwise uh, this chain is going to be really tight All right. So it looks like there's a little push button right here. Push this and it goes down. When you install this, you take this bolt out. There's a spring in there. Leave that out. Push this down. It stays in. And then you'll reinstall it. Put the bolt in with the spring in. It'll put tension on that chain. All right. So I'm going to show you my little trick here back over here I don't want to have the chain come off the gear so I'm putting tension on this while I'm taking this bolt out 
the idea is to hang this up out of the way and have everything stay intact while I pull the camera off. So, now I'm going to go pull the cam out from the other side. I don't have to worry about uh, losing uh, my position on the gears or the timing marks or anything. So let's head over to the other side and uh, I'll give you a little shot of what i got going on here. I uh, I don't have much wear on that cam, so I should be sitting pretty good. I'm going to take that access cover off over here. And that's going to be stubborn too, I suppose. Oh, there we go. There's a little O-ring in there too. That's what uh, keeps it sealed. Now I should just be able to slide that cam right out. Be careful because this cam is still good. I want to try and save it. Oh yeah. That cam looks good yet. I can reuse that in my next project. Now, when you want to install your new cam, just do the reverse of what I said, but there's one last step, is you'll adjust the valve lash. It's uh, .006, um, I posted a, a video on how to adjust that. So, there you have it, it was pretty simple. Nothing to it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more player's fixes. Till next time.